Today we're going to be talking about transitioning into living more slowly and how you can get started if you're interested in slowing down and living a more intentional, meaningful lifestyle. Even though it would be a dream to do so, living isn't about quitting your job and moving to a cabin in the woods or dropping all your responsibilities. It's about creating a lifestyle where you are making more conscious choices and living more peacefully day by day. So let's go ahead and get into five tips that will help you ease into this lifestyle one step at a time. So the first thing we need to talk about is space. One of the most impactful ways to get started with slow living is to declutter. Decluttering can sound like a huge task, but you don't have to go full on Marie Kondo right away. Pick a room or even just a drawer and ask yourself, do I use this? Does this add value to my life? Do I really need this? If not, donate it or sell it and just let it go. When we look around our home and start noticing the things that are just sitting around collecting dust and realize that by getting rid of excess stuff, we make room for the things that actually matter. Plus, a tidy space can have a calming effect on your mind. Less clutter means less chaos. If something really means something to you, you don't have to just get rid of it, but just think about the amount of things that you have and ask yourself, is it just cluttering up my space or is it something I can pass on to my family or something I need to have in my home? And the same thing goes for when you are out shopping in person or online and Make sure you are buying what you really love or actually need. Once you've got a clear space around you, it's so much easier to think clearly and feel more comfortable in your own home. The second tip is all about time. In our fast-paced world, we're often pressured to get everything done as quickly as possible. But slow living encourages you to step back and ask what really needs to get done today. One thing I found super helpful is setting priorities. Not everything needs to happen today, this week, or even this month. It's not always possible to do everything in a day and you'll burn yourself out and make your body feel bad if you do that. Learn to say no to things that don't align with your values or goals. Focus on what truly matters to you and give yourself space in your day for rest and relaxation so you'll be ready for tomorrow. It's easy to get caught up in the the go-go mentality, but slow living is about intentionally slowing down. This means recognizing that you don't need to be productive 24-7. And sometimes taking a break is actually the most productive thing that you can do. Now, let's talk about one of the best aspects of slow living, being present. We live in such a distracted, constantly scrolling, checking emails and multitasking kind of world. But when was the last time you really enjoyed a cup of tea or noticed how the sunlight filters through your window in the morning? Slow living reminds you to connect with those little ordinary everyday things that you may have forgotten to notice all around you. Especially everything in nature that we take for granted. Whether it's enjoying a quiet breakfast, going for a walk in the park, or just sitting still for a few minutes. These small moments can be so nourishing for us. And in our modern world, it's almost like we have disconnected from the way we were designed to be and traditional things that people consider out of style or old-fashioned. But if we can find a way back to being more traditional or doing things outside more, I think we would be happier and more fulfilled and hopefully you could as well. So you can try this out and see if it works for you. The next time you're doing something ordinary, like making coffee or brushing your hair, take a minute to pause and be fully in that moment. Notice the textures, the smells, the sounds, and it may sound a little silly, but you'll be amazed at how much more enjoyable even the smallest things become when you're fully engaged in them. This fourth tip might feel like a game changer for many of us, and that is to simplify your schedule. If you're anything like me, you probably have a long list of things you want to do, and it feels like there's never enough time. Slow living teaches us that we don't need to fill every hour of the day with plans. It's okay to have blank spaces in your calendar. In fact, it's more than okay, it's essential. When we give ourselves time to rest, breathe, and recuperate, we now have space for creativity and being spontaneous. 
So take a look at your weekly schedule. Is there anything you can let go of? Are there activities or commitments that are draining you rather than bringing you joy? Simplifying your schedule allows you to focus on what truly matters and leaves room for more meaningful experiences. Finally, let's talk about mindful consumption. We live in a world of excess always wanting the latest, the newest, the best. But slow living encourages us to be mindful of what we consume, whether that's material goods, media, or even food. Before buying something, ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it add value to my life? When we practice mindful consumption, we're not only reducing waste and saving money, but we're also creating a life that's aligned with our values. When you do buy things, it's also good to think about buying something used instead of brand new, especially with things like phones. It's not always necessary to have the latest thing and saving money is always a good thing. The more we can reuse and recycle is better for us and the environment. And this isn't just about shopping. Mindful consumption can also apply to what we take in mentally. Be selective about the media you consume. Spend time reading things that uplift you, watching shows that inspire you, and following people who share your same values. It's all about choosing quality over quantity and creating a lifestyle that feels good rather than one that just looks good or looks appealing to other people but doesn't make you feel fulfilled. And now you have five simple tips to help you get started with slow living. And just remember, slow living isn't about doing everything perfectly. It's about progress, not perfection. It's about finding joy in the journey and taking care of yourself along the way. If you're new to this lifestyle, take it one step at a time. Start small, stay mindful, and be intentional with your choices. Pick out one of these things and start there if you have to. You'll be amazed at how much more peaceful and fulfilling life can be when you do slow down. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who might need a little reminder to slow down. And I'd love to hear in the comments what are your favorite ways to slow down and live more intentionally.